the principle of freedom. The word principle is a fundamental truth or law. The word freedom is being all that the Creator, God, created you to be, a state that He described in Genesis as very good. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. So the Son, who is Jesus, is the fundamental truth or law or principle of freedom. But how does He make us free? So about 700 years earlier, Isaiah the prophet recorded the following, Who hath believed what he has heard from us, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Then he begins to talk about Jesus, for he, Jesus, grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows acquainted with grief. Then he says, surely he, the person he is describing, which is the Lord Jesus, born our griefs and carried our sorrows. The Hebrew words for the word griefs, koli, and the word sorrows, which is makeup, is translated in a reference in the New Testament as the infirmities and sicknesses. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself, the Lord, took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. He did that by being pierced for our transgressions and being crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace or freedom, and with his wounds we are healed. The Lord laid on him, Jesus, the iniquity or sin of us all. Therefore, he made many to be accounted righteous as he bore their iniquities or sin. Now let's illustrate what we have read so far. Here is the Creator, God, and here is the first two humans he created, Adam and Eve, representing all humanity. Now Adam and Eve, representing all humanity, committed a sinful act or transgression by disobeying the commandment of God. They became sinners as a result, as sin became part of their nature. That is iniquity. The judgment for sin is death, which is and includes separation from God, spiritual depravity, a state of no peace with God. Along with that is sicknesses and diseases of all sorts and physical death. This is the cycle that humans are born into. But according to Isaiah's prophecy, Jesus was pierced for our transgressions and was crushed for our iniquities. So Jesus became sin and took the judgment of death upon himself. On the cross, he was separated from God, spiritually depraved, as he cried out to God, Why have thou forsaken me? Surely he borne also our infirmities and sicknesses. But he rose again. And for all who believe the report and accept the judgment on Jesus in their place are released from the judgment of sin. They are accounted righteous because Jesus has borne their iniquity or sin. So they go from sinners to righteous. They also are therefore released from the judgment of death to life. They are united with God and are spiritually filled. They are released from sicknesses and diseases in all forms, for he, Jesus, bore also their infirmities and sicknesses. Because of Jesus, instead of judgment, these have received mercy, as they are made righteous and given life with all of its implications. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. That is the principle or the fundamental truth of freedom.